Welcome back, and today we're going to talk about stresses. Coping with my aneurysm. I've been diagnosed with an aneurysm. Uh, let's see, it was January 6th. Right now, it's the beginning of February, and I just talked to my surgeon, and my surgeon told me that uh, my surgery date has been postponed. Uh, my heart feels like it's in my throat, and I feel like I've been talking about anxiety pills and different things like that. Uh, I recommend talking to your, your, your uh, physician, right, your primary, and they could steer you in the right direction. But I've asked everybody from my organization to other professionals what I should be doing. I've done melatonin, magnesium, none of them really work, right? I've been drinking mezcal, I've been drinking a little red wine at night so I could sleep good, but I always wake up at 3 a.m. Let me tell you my stresses, right? And then the coping. My stresses amount to many different things besides this aneurysm. This aneurysm is bad, right? I'm tracking my sleep with my watch. I have a Garmin. You could do it with an Apple watch. I'm uh, about to buy an Aurora ring or a ring. I decided not to do it because there's a subscription fee, which I didn't want to pay. I'd rather use my Garmin or the Apple watch is also really good too. You could buy a pad underneath the bed that tracks your sleep, but sleep is critical. But here's my stress, okay? Uh, I have this aortic aneurysm, ascending aortic aneurysm. I have to go to surgery. Surgery is taking a while. I'm stressed out. So the doctors told me to monitor my blood pressure, right? So I have this blood pressure cuff, if you could see it. And uh, weddings. It's pretty good, right? It's automatic. It goes to your phone. It tracks your blood pressure. My blood pressure normally before finding out about this was about 120 over 70. Now, finding out about my aneurysm, the stress has gone through the roof and it's in the 130s. So it's 130 over 80. Then some days I have nightmares in the morning. The blood pressure, right? I check it about twice a day, sometimes more if it's bad. And it's been like uh, 150 over 105. So I told my physician, they put me on a form of beta blockers, a lisinopril. So talk to your physician about this. But they took me and they said, hey, look, you need to reduce your blood pressure because we don't want this thing to uh, explode and everything else. So they put me on lisinopril. Don't think lisinopril is the best, but it's, it's something that's going to help kind of regulate my blood pressure and uh, pulse. So blood pressure is still good. I still have to maintain that. I'm going to take lisinopril for the first time tonight. And I'll update you my next video, how I feel and what, what the thing is. But I think it also might calm me down at night. Uh, you know, there's, there's all these other things you could take. And that's through your physician, so ask them. But like Ativant and all those things, uh, they're addictive. So you need to like ask, right? But um, I'm having trouble sleeping. And the reason why, not just because of this, is I have a wife at six months pregnant. I have a wife at six months pregnant. I have to make sure she's okay. It's gonna be my third child. I have two other children. My two children are 11 and three. So I have an 11 year old, a three year old, and one on the way. Two boys, one girl. I have an aortic aneurysm, right? Um, I'm concerned, like everybody else out there, when they go through this type of stuff, how are you going to get paid, right? I'm going to go on long-term disability. All these things are horrible. Well, having kids is great. Okay, kids are cool. But like pregnant wife, she's cool. But it's a lot of stresses that are challenging and you have to figure your mechanism to like mellow out. I have no idea how to do it. Talk to therapists, right? Therapist. I go on walks daily. I just got my second opinion for my aortic aneurysm today through uh, my, so my network, but like a different location to see it from a different doctor. And they all agree that I need surgery. I have a five centimeter aortic aneurysm and it's, it's due at this time to probably have surgery, except there's a line. So that, that being said, 
it just raises that level of like anticipation, anxiety, stress. So like, hey, you know what? To drink uh, our margarita mezcal, whatever you prefer, uh, it's not gonna kill you, but monitor your blood pressure. Here I am right here. You know, um, have your network of people. I am um, stressed to the roof. Everybody that's a friend of mine, my coworkers, the support, they call me, they ask me, and they, they say, hey, Morsa, how you doing? I say, I'm doing all right, you know, but I have these stresses. I'm trying to mellow out, I'm trying to be cool, but, you know, uh, as the nature of who I am and what I am, like everybody out there, when it, when it hits home and affects you, it's a different story. So anyway, I want to touch base today, tell you basically my, uh, my stresses, my, my anxiety, right? Uh, my level of just like uh, worry. There's nights I feel like, you know, my heart is racing, right? Take my blood pressure, right? But get a hold of your physician, have your network, talk to your, your friends and your people, right? Uh, there is this, this uh, for everybody, not just myself, this, this concern, because not everything is immediate. Everything takes time. Uh, my surgeon, my thoracic surgeon told me that, hey, look, Marcel, that, that five centimeter aneurysm is very serious. And can it dissect? It can. We know the baseline. It was only December 29th, so January 6th, whatever. But that is like the first time we discovered this, but it could have been there for five years. Could have been there for longer or could have been there for less. We don't know. But uh, from this standpoint to where we are going to be, when I have my surgery, he told me that you're probably okay, right? Because it could grow 0.2 to one third a year centimeter. And uh, right now, in a, in a month's time, I've taken several angiograms and it, excuse me, and it really hasn't grown. So that's where we are today. I want to say thank you for uh, joining. Keep following me down below. Ask me questions. I will respond. Uh, get a blood pressure cuff. A digital one's good. I have a manual one too. Um, uh, Withings. Withings is good, but there's other ones out there. Uh, my Garmin watch is really helpful. I have an Epic uh, Garmin watch. There's like a second generation out of the first generation. It's, it's, uh, it, it keeps me kind of like in the moment. I, I do about, I don't know, right now I have 13,000 steps. I do about 17,000 a day. It's still early in the day, so I still have time to hit my, my goal. Um, doctors told me, working out wise, just do things that are moderate, that are not gonna raise your uh, blood pressure. That's walking. So everything else kind of does that. So drinking, is drinking bad? Anything can be bad. So don't necessarily recommend it, but, um, but cheers and uh, keep following me. Tune back in shortly and I will tell you Further information, how my progression's going, how I feel, the stresses, but it is a stressful time. So everybody be patient with what's going on. We're all gonna be fine. We're gonna get through this, and then we could, down the road, look back on this crazy experience that I had that you're, you're having. Thank you.